Hi, in a previous video I showed you how to take an image off the internet and auto trace it in Inkscape using the path trace bitmap option um, and in that video we turned that tracing into um, a shaped card. It was actually um, in the shape of a cup so if you want to have a look at the previous video and you go to my YouTube channel um, it will be there. But somebody contacted me recently and said that they'd found an image on the internet which I think was in a PDF format and they'd taken a screenshot of it and traced it in Inkscape but weren't getting the results that they were expecting. This was the image and this was the result that they got. I'm just going to zoom in and show you. And as you can see it's got lots of double lines and it's got extra little bits in here in the tracing that, that shouldn't be there and obviously wouldn't make a good cutting cutting file and the person concerned didn't know how to um, make it into a good cuttable file um, or didn't actually know why they'd got this result so I thought I'd show you uh, what to do if, if this is what you get I would also add that um, this file has got several breaks in it in places as well so I'm going to get rid of that and then we're going to work on this and this is the screenshot of the image taken from the PDF. So we go to path and we go to trace bitmap and normally you would just go with the default settings, click the brightness cutoff, you can have a look at a preview if you want and click OK, close that down, drag your image out of the way and this would be your cutting file and if you go into view display outline you would normally have just a black line but as you can see in here it's all double lines and extra little bits that we don't need and another way to rectify this would be to go path break apart and then try and get rid of all the little bits that um, that we don't need but this file won't break apart because it's already actually got breaks within its outline in various places. So that isn't going to work at all. So I'm going to get rid of that and go to go back to normal view to bring my image back into view. And I'm going to show you a way of tracing it um, in, in a way that we can then clean it up and make it into a cuttable file. So path, trace bitmap. This time we're going to go to Edge Detection. We're going to leave all the settings as they are, but under Brightness Steps, we're going to take this down to the minimum number which it will go to, which is two. You can click a preview on the Update button if you want and click OK. And then we're going to close that down. We're going to drag our image out of the way. And then we're going to go to go in View, Display, Outline Mode. Again, you can see we've got double lines and extra little bits in places that we don't need but we can now break this apart so if we go to path break apart and you can see we've got extra lines now so I'm going to click off just click anywhere on the page to deselect I'm going to try and click an outside edge and drag that out of the way and that looks like a good outline I'm going to click this one and drag this one out of the way this one is a bit thin and spindly so we'll get rid of that and then I'm going to drag an imaginary box around all these little bits that it's also picked up that we don't need and hit delete. So this is the outline that we want to use and if we go back into view and display as normal you will see that this fills itself with colour. Now in the first one I showed you it wouldn't fill with colour because it had breaks in it and that's how I knew that we wouldn't be able to break it apart and do anything with it. So this is the image so we can delete that now. This is our cutting file. I like to work in outline view so I'm going to take the colour out of it and all you would need to do now is go to file, save as, save it somewhere where you can find it, give it a name, give it an SVG file extension and save it and then using the Brother Online canvas software for the scan and cut machine you can now import this SVG file into there and convert it online in the canvas software 
into a brother scan and cut cutting file. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, please like, share and subscribe if you like the video. Um, leave any comments below if you've got any questions and I'll see if I can try and answer them. And if you have any suggestions for any future videos, please leave those in the comments too. Thank you.